Hi, Aaron Houston with the Marijuana Policy Project. Uh, Director Walters, good to see you. Uh, just curious, uh, I, I know we disagree about whether or not people should go to jail for marijuana. Uh, and along those lines, I'm curious about uh, some news that developed recently. Uh, Governor Palin uh, said that she used marijuana when it was legal under state law in Alaska. Um, and given your, your past statements about you know, kind of disregarding state law to a certain degree, saying that federal law trumps that, um, should that disqualify her in your opinion? I, it certainly doesn't in mine, but, but I'm curious. <laughs> well, <laughs> Uh, let me actually answer the underlying question and not the, <laughs> and, and not the distractions. Yes. Why do we talk about marijuana? It's the single biggest drug, I think, that is uh, a source of some confusion. As I think we pointed out in our previous uh, availability, we asked the question, you know, if you were the meth policy project, uh, talking about the, the need to decriminalize meth, um, you wouldn't have had the guts to stand up and ask a question because everybody knows how bad that is. The reason we're talking about marijuana is because it's the most widely used, most people have experienced it, and there is some uh, latent confusion about what is the danger here. As this survey shows, there's a chart over there on the side of the room shows, um, of, of those people who need treatment, just those who need treatment today, uh, two out of every three who need it for dependence on illegal drugs are dependent on marijuana. You can't seriously talk about the substance abuse problem in the United States without talking about marijuana any more than you can talk about it without talking about alcohol. But the fact of the matter today is that blind spot, that ambiguity, is the reason why some people don't seek treatment. They think that, that marijuana is not substance abuse. Why people start as young people uh, using marijuana because they think, well, that's not dangerous. Why parents look the other way, well, it's only marijuana. Why people think that, uh, that marijuana is something that uh, they don't have to take seriously or they have in their past and um, uh, they can uh, talk about it casually because it's not really a serious threat and they can therefore give a bad example to their children and to, and to others around them. The fact is today, people don't go to jail for possession of marijuana. I know you like to pretend it does and there's a lot of misinformation about that, but um, finding somebody in jail or prison for a first time nonviolent offender for possession of marijuana is like finding a unicorn. You find one, you will make a big story because it doesn't exist. The fact of the matter today is for many people their lives get out of control with marijuana use, their lives get out of control and it spreads to other kinds of self-destructive behavior including drug use as well as crime. And the, and the fact of the matter today is when we correct that misunderstanding as we have with young people and with parents, we see rates of use go down because they didn't know. And frankly, the baby boomer generation is the start of didn't know. Marijuana was part of coming of age. We still have that echo of that baby boomer generation in our culture. We're changing that, and young people are showing us the way. And you're going to be, if I can mix my metaphors, a dinosaur in another five years. That sounds like a yes, sir. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, the next uh, question. Dino. 